What's up everyone, Kitchell22130 back again for another college football preview for 2009. Can you believe it? College football kicks off tonight. South Carolina NC State at 7 and then the big one which I am very looking forward to, Oregon and Boise State at 10-15. Both those games will be played on ESPN and also can Utah continue to build off of last year's momentum? They take on Utah State. That game's going to be on ESPNU. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see it. I wanted to see the Utes in action this year. Uh, hopefully we can get them later on. They do play Oregon. That'll be a good game. But we have the Big Ten coming up right now. And it's going to be a good conference this year. A lot of people think it's going to be a down year in the Big Ten. I think they're wrong. They got a lot of pretty good teams. Ohio State, Penn State, and Iowa. Those are probably going to be the three teams that are going to challenge for the title. And then sort of the bottom upper half, you got some good teams. I think IU will be decent this year. I think Purdue will be better than expected. Both those teams predicted to win about two, three games. I think they could win about four or five, maybe more. Maybe they could go bowling. Michigan State's going to be very good this year, I think. you got to look at possibly Minnesota. That could be a team that could surprise, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and talk about the MVP favorite for 2009 in the Big Ten. And I'm going to go ahead and go with Evan Royster from Penn State. The big bruiser in the backfield for the Nittany Lions. They still call a linebacker you, but boy, the way they turn out those, those big bruisers at running back, you can start calling a running back you, unlike they have it at USC. Evan Royster is going to be phenomenal this year. Stephon Green back in up is going to be very good as well, but the offensive line is going to be the big reason why I think Penn State could run all over every team this year. Royster does have some a little bit of Heisman contendency this year, and also you got can't forget about Daryl Clark as well. He's going to be a fantastic quarterback for the Nittany Lions this year, and then also go to Columbus. Terrell Pryor is going to have a good year for the Buckeyes. He's improved his passing consistency. He can run about a 4-3-3-40, which is faster than some cornerbacks in the Big Ten, if you can believe it. So those are three guys you definitely want to keep an eye on. And then if you want to look at uh, a little bit of a sleeper, if he does improve his passing game, it could be Mike Kafka. He's got the running game down completely. It'll be determined if he can throw the ball as well as run it on the ground. A sleeper you could watch out for, possibly. It's the duo at Minnesota of Adam Weber and Eric Decker. Both those guys are going to be, have very good seasons this year in their senior campaign. Weber's been starting since, good gracious, who knows how long. It seems like it's been forever. Decker continues to become a better and better receiver. I think those two could really surprise this year in the Big Ten. Let's take a look at the best conference and non-conference games for 2009 in the Big Ten. The best conference game, this one is going to decide the champion of the Big Ten, I think. Ohio State goes to Penn State November 7th. Happy Valley is going to be rocking. The whiteout is going to be the mother of all wideouts. Four years ago, it was the mother of all wideouts. Two years ago, it was the mother of all wideouts. This year, expect it to be just like the previous year. It's going to be a raucous atmosphere. Both teams should be very good coming into that game. Probably top 10, top 15 in the rankings. Terrell Pryor, Daryl Clark, Boom Heron, Evan Royster. Going to be some great battles up front in the trenches. It should be a pounded out, spread them out game. And it's going to be a lot of fun. That, that Happy Valley atmosphere is going to be second to none that night, November 7th. We talked about Ohio State-USC earlier. Let's go ahead and talk about another non-conference game. Michigan State-Notre Dame. The Irish and Spartans continue to play tough battles. This year it's going to be at South Bend. The Irish predicted to have a very good season this year under Charlie Weiss. It's his fifth year in South Bend. He's got a great returning offense. The defense is a little bit suspect, but the Spartans Excellent defense. Offense is still a little bit iffy without Javon Ringer and then Brian Hoyer gone as well. The Spartans will still do fairly well this year under Mark D'Antonio. You can best believe that that team will have a very tough defense. 
Sleepers, disappointments, another favorites coming up for the Big Ten of 2009. Let's go ahead and talk about my favorites. We already mentioned them before. Ohio State, Penn State, Iowa are going to challenge. Michigan State could have a shot at it. Maybe Minnesota, North, Northwestern possibly. But a sleeper team you got to keep an eye on right now. And I'm going to give it to you straight. Illinois, the Illini flying completely under the radar. I don't know how this team continues to fly under the radar. Juice Williams is going to have a sensational season. His fourth year starting at Champaign, he brings back Aurelius Ben. Florida transfer Jared Faison is a five-star player. You got Jeff Cumberland through the air, and also all Big Ten tight end Mike Humana Wanui. He's in a whole Hawaiian. And then Daniel Dufresne, Jason Ford, and Michael LaShore in the backfield. This is going to be a tough Illinois offense. I still don't know how people are talking about these guys this season. One of the only concerns is going to be the defense. They lose Britt Miller in the middle. They do have Martez Wilson. They're really hoping he's going to come off and have a great year for the Illini. But take a look at them. Illinois could have a solid year. They start off with Missouri once again at the Edward Jones Dome. If they can beat Missouri, that will be a springboard into the year for 2009. And the Illini could have a great season. And possibly, if they can knock off Ohio State or Penn State again this year, they could challenge for the Big Ten title. A team that will disappoint this year for 2009 and expect it again. They went 3-9 last year. They might be a little better this year, but Michigan just does not have the horses like they used to. Rich Rodriguez, he's got the talent. There's no doubt about it, but he really just can't. He hasn't been able to implement his system yet. And then with all the controversy surrounding the practice hours and everything, I think Rich Rodriguez is going to have a tough season in Ann Arbor this year. It's probably going to be Tate Forcier and Nick Sheridan going back and forth between each other at the quarterback position. They have a great linebacker at Obi Aze, who is probably going to be all Big Ten. And then punter Zoltan Mesko is definitely going to be a Ray Guy Award candidate. And then Brandon Graham on the end. They have a good defense. It's the offense. Can they implement that system? Brandon Miner is another phenomenal running back for the Michigan Wolverines, but they just lost a lot of talent from last year. Can they do it? Can they get to that 6-1 plateau, possibly get to a bowl game? If they lose that first game against Western Michigan, which they could, Tim Hiller's the returning quarterback for the Broncos. Hiller could, could throw all over the field against the Wolverines. If they beat Michigan, expect Rich Rodriguez to be out the door in the, in after the few hours after that game. But I don't think Michigan will have to worry about that. I think they can knock off Western Michigan, but it won't be easy. All right, so you want to pick a favorite in the Big Ten. It's going to come down to Ohio State Penn State. We've talked about it. And the loss of Michael Maudy for the Penn State Nittany Lion defense at linebacker, it might be a little bit too much to overcome. He was a slated starting linebacker alongside Navarro Bowman and Sean Lee. He might be a huge loss. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Buckeyes in the Big Ten for 2009. People think they're going to be a little overrated this year with the loss of Malcolm Jenkins, James Laurinaitis and Marcus Freeman, and then you lose guys like Brian Hartline, Robisky, Beanie Wells. But folks, it's Ohio State. They continue to reload every single season. Terrell Pryor is going to have a much improved offensive line. They were having a lot of trouble with it last year, but they're going to be much improved. The tight ends and receivers are inexperienced, but they have a lot of firepower. Jake Ballard's a guy you might want to watch out for for the Mackey Award at tight end. And then the defense will be good. The defensive line will probably be the best in the Big Ten. Thad Gibson, Cameron Hayward, it's going to be a, t a solid defensive line, and the secondary should be good with Chim Chekwa and Kurt Coleman at safety. And then before we end this, got to talk about my Purdue Boilermakers a little bit. Yeah, people are thinking I have about two or three wins this year. Folks, you're going to be pleasantly surprised about Purdue this year. The offense is inexperienced. The defense is going to be much better than some people expect it to be. I think they're going to get six wins this year, and I think they're going to make a bowl game. A lot of people might call me crazy, but I think the Purdue Boilermakers will make it to a bowl game this year in Danny Hope's first season, and it's going to be a fun Big Ten year. There's no doubt about it. I cannot wait for this season to get started. Starts on Saturday. The Buckeyes play against Navy, and then Purdue also has Toledo at home. So that's a preview of the Big Ten. We're going to go ahead and talk about the BCS Busters, and we'll also preview Notre Dame and some of the other independent teams. Coming up right after this, this is Kitchell 22-130, signing off.